Oh, it was some of the strongest wind I've ever heard. So yeah, it was pretty scary. The kids were freaking a bit. Yeah, they were pretty nervous. Yeah. But just inside, all you could hear is just all the banging and things breaking. The whole time you know that's more and more damage to the house and stuff. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, that storm the day before yesterday in particular, uh, it took down a concrete power line. So it's the first time we've ever had a concrete power pole destroyed uh, by a storm. That's, uh, that's pretty significant. That's uh, un unprecedented. Certainly the scenes I saw where you didn't just have a single power line down, you had a power line down between every pole. Oh, it was some of the strongest wind I've ever heard. So yeah, it was pretty scary. The kids were freaking a bit. Yeah, they were pretty nervous. Yeah. But just inside, all you could hear is just all the banging and things breaking. The whole time you know that's more and more damage to the house and stuff, so yeah. So it's the first time we've ever had a concrete power pole destroyed uh, by a storm. That's, uh, that's pretty significant. That's uh, un unprecedented. Parts of Australia were reeling on Wednesday after severe thunderstorms killed at least 10 people over the Christmas holidays. Winds battered the country's east with tens of thousands of properties still without power. Wild weather lashed the states of Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland on December 25th and 26th. It brought large hailstones, torrential rains and strong winds which blew off roofs and brought down trees. Local resident Paul Boyton is in Helensvale. Oh, it was some of the strongest wind I've ever heard. So yeah, it was pretty scary. The kids were freaking a bit. Yeah, they were pretty nervous. Yeah, but just inside all you could hear is just all the banging and things breaking whole time you know that's more and more damage to the house and stuff, so yeah, yeah. Three men were killed after a yacht capsized near Green Island in Moreton Bay, authorities said. Two people were killed by falling trees and two women died after being swept away in flooded storm water drains, police said. The danger isn't over yet. Authorities warn fast rising rivers and streams could burst the banks inundating campgrounds, often crowded over the festive period. Queensland Premier Stephen Miles. So it's the first time we've ever had a concrete power pole destroyed uh, by a storm. That's, uh, that's pretty significant. That's uh, un unprecedented. Certainly the scenes I saw where you didn't just have a single power line down, you had a power line down between every pole. Miles says the damage from the thunderstorms and Cyclone Jasper, which hit the state earlier this month, could be in the billions. Despite more rain predicted, Australia's Bureau of Meteorology expected the wild weather to ease later on Wednesday. Australia's December to February summer is under the influence of the El Nino phenomenon. We can cause weather extremes raging from wildfires to cyclones and prolonged droughts. So it has been a very, very tragic 24 hours um, due to the weather.
Well, the death toll from the recent storm events uh, in South East Queensland has now risen to six, with police confirming a third man who was missing has now been found dead. Uh, the thoughts of all Queenslanders are with those families who are grieving right now. So there were 250,000 lightning strikes the day before yesterday, another 150,000 lightning strikes uh, yesterday. These, these, these are very intense storms. I'm told the water conditions were horrific. The storm was still raging when they were rescued. I can't tell you how long. It would have been less than 45 minutes. Um, but it would have been very difficult to, to survive in those conditions anywhere, let alone out on Moreton Bay.